morning, everyone. Welcome to our worship service. Uh, let's take a moment to prepare our hearts. So hands together, eyes closed, so we don't get distracted. And let's talk to God. Okay, let's pray. Good morning, God. We welcome you into our worship service. We welcome to you into our hearts. We ask that you would speak to us as we learn more about you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's recite the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and a life everlasting. Amen. Okay, our scripture reading for today is Romans chapter 10, verse 9. Let's read it all together. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. This is the word of God. Okay, so I want to start by taking a look at our verse from last week. Do you remember it? It was Romans chapter 6, verse 23. And it said, For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So I want to take a look at the second part of the verse where it says, But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I want to add one more verse. I'm pretty sure most of you have either heard it, read it, sang it, or memorized it at one point or another. Okay, And the verse is, John 3, 16. Yes, I hear a lot of, I know that one. Okay. Um, it's, it's a very popular, very common verse. Um, and in John 3, 16, it tells us that whoever believes in him, whoever believes in Jesus will not die, but have eternal life. It sounds simple, right? If we believe, we get eternal life. But I have a question for you. Okay. It is simple. If we believe in Jesus, we have eternal life. But what does it mean to believe? What does it mean to believe? You know, words are tricky things. We know what they mean, but sometimes they mean something a little bit different in a different situation, or some people understand it a little bit differently. And so even though we use the same words, it doesn't always have the same meaning. And in fact, I took a whole class about the meaning of words in college, <laughs> a whole class on it. So when we say that we believe in something, right, what does that really mean? Because sometimes, I don't know if you know this, okay, sometimes people will say, I believe it. I believe that such and such and such, but they don't really believe it, okay? Why is that? How can people say, I believe, when they don't really believe? Or I know, when they really don't know? Have you ever thought about that? Well, we're going to look at that today, okay? Because that has to do with um, our, our verse and our topic, okay? So, just to kind of like help us to understand a little better, I'm going to share a couple stories with you, okay? Um, so, the first thing to kind of establish everything okay those of you that know me really well you've probably already heard my stories but for those of you who uh, are new to me you know getting to know me um you're going to learn a lot about me <laughs> and about the things that uh, i like don't like things that happen to me so i'm going to tell you a little bit about me and i'm going to use that to help you to understand the difference between believe okay so one thing about me i am extremely afraid of heights. Is anyone else here afraid of heights? A few of you? Yeah? 
<laughs> I am very, very, very afraid of heights. Um, my dad, he likes to grow vegetables and fruits. And uh, he, he planted a kam namu. You guys know the kam, right? There's the, the small round one that's crunchy. And then there's like the longer one that, that you eat when it's soft. We have both. Well, my dad has both. Um, but we have kam namu. And they're, they're not like really, really tall. But they're taller than people, right? And so I, I would reach really high. And I can only reach uh, the bottom branches. Okay. So if the tree is, is this high, I can only reach here. And so to reach the, the uh, calm that is up here, we have to use a ladder. And it's not a very big ladder because again, you know, it's, it's only a little bit of a difference. Um, so you, we set up a ladder. It's not a very big one, but we set up the ladder. You have to climb up maybe like seven, eight steps. Okay. So um, that seven, eight steps, it comes out to about like here. You have to climb up to here and then you can reach the top fruit but i'm so afraid of heights i can't climb this high <laughs> i i can only climb up to my waist i can't climb this high. it scares me to death to to go up that high and so sometimes my kids would do it for me because uh, i can't do it oh it's too scary that is how afraid of heights i am okay now you guys know right when i was younger when i was like i think in like fifth grade or sixth grade or something, we went on a family trip to Missouri. And out in Missouri, they have this thing called an arc. And I'm going to show you guys a picture, okay? So have you guys seen this before? This is the arc that is out in St. Louis. And if you look really closely at the bottom of the picture, you can actually see how big the people are. And that shows you exactly how big this arc is. It is terrifying <laughs> to me. It is so terrifying because it's so big. Now, the cool thing about this arc is that it actually has an elevator that you can take inside the arc and it will take you all the way up to the very top. And there are windows at the top where you can look out either at the city or at the river. Now this is the inside of the top of the arc. And can you see the windows on both sides? And in front of the windows, I don't know if you can tell, but it's slanted. And so you can see that the people are kind of leaning over to look outside the window, right? Well, when I went up in that arc, there were about 20, 30 people inside and everybody was leaning over on the side of the river. I think there was boats going by or something. So everyone, it's, everybody wanted to look at that and they were all leaning on that side. Okay, now I was so scared, so scared that the ark was gonna topple over because it's really tall, it's really high, right? And so I felt like if everybody's leaning on one side, it's gonna like <laughs> lean over and eventually fall. And so while everybody was looking on that one side, I was like leaning on the other side because I was afraid. <laughs> As if I could stop it from falling if it was going to fall, right? Now, here's the thing. In my head, okay, I know this ark was built out of steel. There was a lot of steel in this, in this ark and it was not going to go anywhere. Even if there was like a hundred people leaning on one side, it's not going to fall over. In my head, I know that because I learned about structures. I learned about how strong steel is and how to make, you know, buildings so that they don't fall over very well. And I learned all of this. So I know it in my head, right? And if you ask me, do you believe that the ark is strong enough that it will not fall over? I will tell you, yes, I believe it. Okay. But <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Did I really believe it when I was standing at the top of the ark? Okay. With everybody leaning on one side. Did I really believe that it wasn't going to fall over? Hmm? I kind of believed.
but there was a little seed of doubt, right? Because if I really believed that there was no chance this ark is going to fall over, would I have been afraid? Would I have been afraid? I might have been afraid of the height, right? Because it's really high. But I wouldn't have been afraid of it falling over. Now, I have a brother. I have a younger brother. He's not afraid of heights. He's not afraid of falling. He's not afraid of any of that. And so he had no problem. He was like leaning up and pressing up against the glass and everything. And I was like, oh my gosh, don't do that. But he had no problem because he had no fear of that. He believed 100% that this ark wasn't going to do anything. <laughs> he was not, he had no doubt whatsoever. So he was able to lean and look and do, you know, with everybody else on the same side with no problem. I did not believe. Okay, I believed in my head. I knew the facts. I knew what I learned. Okay, I believed what I learned, but I didn't believe in my heart. In my heart, I was kind of, yeah, but what if? Yeah, but maybe a small chance of that, that it might happen, you know? There's that doubt in my heart. And so even though I believed in my head, I didn't believe in my heart. So that means I didn't really, really believe that the ark would definitely not go anywhere, okay? Um, believing in our, in our thoughts, in our mind, and believing in our heart is very different. Okay, and that, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Okay, our verse, um, John 3.16 and our verse today talks about believing. Now, John 3.16 says that whoever believes will be saved. Whoever believes. So if you believe in Jesus, you are saved, right? But our verse today goes into a little bit more detail. It says that if we, to be saved... Okay, we have to believe in our heart and we have to declare with our mouth. Okay, what does that mean? Believe in our heart and declare with our mouth. Believing in Jesus then, it's not just knowing. Okay, it's not, well, I went to church my whole life and my pastor and my Sunday school teacher and my mom and dad told me that Jesus is God. He was born, he died on the cross for my sins and so... Uh, as long as I believe in Jesus or, you know, I, I know all this, then I will go to heaven. If everything you believe is because what people told you, what, uh, what your pastor told you or what your teacher told you or your mom and dad told you, and it's all in here, is that really believing? See, our verse today says you have to declare with your mouth. You have to say it out loud, not just think it in your head, but say it out loud. And you have to believe in your heart, not in your head. You have to believe in your heart. That is what believing in Jesus is. To believe in Jesus, to believe in your heart. And so, this week, I know that there are a lot of you, if I ask you, do you believe in Jesus? Many of you will raise your hand and say, yes, I do. And that is wonderful. You have no idea how happy that makes me. I love it when I, when I see hands raised up. But I want to challenge you guys. I'm going to ask you guys to think about it this week. Okay. Just like with me. Okay. If people asked me, do you believe that the, the ark is strong enough that you, everyone can lean on one side? And it's not going to fall over. Okay. I can say, yes, I believe that because in my head, I know that it's true. Okay. But in my heart, there's this little fear, this little doubt that goes on. Not that it's bad. It's not bad. It's okay. Um, it's one of the things that we have to overcome. Okay. Um, but I'm going to ask you guys, I want you to think about it. When you say, yes, I believe, is it, yes, I believe because I learned it and people have told me that it's true or is it, I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. There is no doubt. So I want you to think about that. I want you to think about that. Now, if you're not sure, that is perfectly fine because this is hard. Okay, this is hard to understand and this is hard to figure out. So if you're, if you're not sure, that's okay. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more. Okay, um, but I want you to think about it this week. Okay.
Okay, let's close in prayer. Dear God, we thank you for choosing us, for showing us grace and mercy for the gift of salvation when we didn't deserve it. Thank you, Jesus, for sacrificing your life to pay for the price of our sin for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, announcements. Our first announcement is that we are having in-person worship. So if you're able to, please come join us at uh, 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. Uh, for those who cannot come, we will have the recorded worship on YouTube. The second announcement is that we have Friday night Bible study at 7.30 p.m. at church. So please come and join us and uh, don't forget to bring your Bible. Let's end our worship with the Lord's Prayer. Okay, ready? All together in one voice. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day your daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us this week. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed week. Bye.